Hey guys, this is TJ with Texas Digital, and what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is going to be the new wish list that Undead Labs has actually had on their Twitter page now for I think it's about a week or so. I think I may have seen it go as far back as the 7th or 8th of this month, but how it's going to work is they want people to log on to the website and start leaving suggestions for what you guys want next and we're going to be voting on it all right they're asking the players the fans they want to know what we want implemented now whether this be new weapons cars mechanics um do you want new traits for your survivors do you want new survivors period do you want to see map changes do you want to see plague changes on how it interacts with the, the community that you're in um do you want to see injury levels change um anything that you can think of okay go on there and there are some rules to follow by because they don't want basically 10,000 variants of one idea so you do want to look through other people's ideas and if there's some that are already on there of what you're thinking vote for it you know and this isn't just gonna be one thing they're gonna be implementing several of these changes whether it be in DLC packages or just flat out updates into the actual gameplay itself but I'm gonna leave a link in the description to both the Twitter page and to the Undead Labs wish list so you can get on there, start looking through, voting, and uploading your own suggestions. All right guys, so here we have the wish list. Now, when you come on here, the most recent ones that have been posted is what will appear right here at the top. Now, if you just wanna scroll down, you can actually look through, click on as many of these as you want. I think you can vote as many times as you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but start looking through, see what people's ideas have already been, what they're posting. Um, <clears throat> you can also post up as stuff like glitch update fixes and stuff like that, which I'll actually show you a section 4.2 that you can actually go to and post that. But there's several pages of these here. Go through, check them. If you wanna update your own, just go over here. And as you start typing in the title of what it is you want brought to the game, it'll start bringing up things closely related that people have already uploaded. So if you see one close to what you're thinking, click on it, read it. And if it's already what your idea is, then go to that person's um, suggestion, vote for it. You know, I mean, get it up there and some more votes, that's how we're going to get them to the game. Otherwise, type in the description of what it is you want. You can even add a picture to it, leave wishlist alone on there for the little hashtag basically, and then just post it. Now, like I said, you do want to make sure you're not posting 10,000 variants of the same thing. But if you want, you know, certain bugs fixed and stuff like that, because I have seen people on here post up with that, like walls that actually keep zombies out and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you a few here that I found that were actually, they caught my eye. Like this one here is a great point. This guy wants to be able to switch weapons during combat without having to go to that pain in the ass menu. We've all been down that, whether especially like in Daybreak. A lot of us like to carry like Cleo heavy snipers for the juggernauts, but maybe you want to carry a Stormbringer to handle the regular Zeds with. It's always a pain in the ass to have to stop, enter the menu, go select the weapon you want, get out of that menu, get back to fighting again. A quick button would absolutely help this so much. So if this is something you agree with too, get on here, vote for this guys. I did. So show you another one here in a second. All right, this one here I thought was pretty unique. This guy wants to see more of the story between the network and the Red Talon. Now, the more and more messages we hear come across the radios, we can see the drama slowly coming up to be kind of coming to a head between Red Talon and the network. Something's going to go down there, and I really would like to see the story progress with this. And the way he has you know, a vision for it is maybe you have two factions appear on the map, one Red Talon, one network and you the missions you'll kind of choose with it will kind of define who will become your ally and maybe who will become an enemy in that and so i mean I, I don't think that would be a bad idea at all i would love to see the whole situation between red talent and the network play out i mean red talent's kind of the mercenaries of the group that are kind of take what they can get as far as the cleo technology and stuff where the network's been more of a pacifist and trying to let things build back up from scratch but they both have some flaws to them so this is a great idea i think right here i would love to see this or a variant of this implemented into the game now 
Now this person right here had an idea for some maybe unlockable clothes or something like that. I know that we all get tired of seeing our people in the same drab dress all the time. And it does make you wonder with all the random houses and everything you go through, how somehow they never manage to find a change of underwear anywhere. You know, people are stanking in your home base. You think that would bring down morale alone right there. If you've ever spent time living with a large family or something and somebody ain't showering, you know, there's some issues going on. So I think that this, a little variant of this would not be a bad idea, especially something like maybe an armament upgrade to where certain characters, they have certain skills, maybe you can get an armor that would take down maybe the, you know, the impact of Zeds and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, there's got to be something there to this. I love this one because of the simplicity of it. This guy just put chainsaw. No more text. Just give us a chainsaw. I couldn't have said that better. This dude is awesome right here. Props to you, man. Who would not want to gut some Zeds with a chainsaw? I think something like this, flamethrowers. The more medieval, the better, man. Let's get ruthless on these guys. Now this one right here is my favorite. I love what this guy did. This guy, JTM712, James Murphy. Great job, James. All right, he actually took on here, he actually photoshopped what it would even look like to have a fast travel system between outposts. I think this is the best idea I saw on the entire page. We all know how badly we need a fast travel system on this game, especially for maps like, you know what's coming. Drucker County, okay? There's sometimes that it's just such a pain in the ass to have to get around that place. But I love what he did right here, man. I mean, like I said, this is just props to you, man, for taking the time to actually do this out, showing what it would look like. And it, I mean, there's an influence system to use it. He has a 15 minute cooldown period for radios, five minutes to get back to base. I think it's a great idea, man. Good on you. And this right here is the actual home page to Ended Labs. And if you have anything like, especially stuff that's um, glitches or stuff like that, they actually do have some quick links up here you can actually go to that will kind of show you what it is they're working on right now, stuff that they know is the biggest problems. And there's also, of course, you know, the wish list right here. But scroll down to it. They also advertise on here um, certain feeds they're going to be having. They also do competitions, contests. There's a ton of stuff on here. You can actually go up here to get support. If you have a new problem, you just keep on just getting stuck with the same thing. You keep on flying out of the stratosphere in your car every time you back up whatever it is if you post that here you can also get in contact with the community over here and these people are actually getting contact with us they are reaching back out and they are including it on their um live feeds that i've been watching for the last couple of weeks they have had their developers on there constantly engaging with the audience and telling people why certain glitches are happening what's going on with that what's causing it and what they're trying to do to dig it out of the code to get it to stop doing it and I wanted to put their Twitter page on here too, which I will also leave in the description. Because their Twitter page, not only will it show right here like the upcoming feeds they're going to be doing on, um, I believe they do both YouTube and uh, there's, a several, there's several of them they do, but they do them all at once. They do Twitch, YouTube, and they may even have a Discord that they kind of run all at the same time parallel. But you can actually upload your videos here. If you have glitch videos of just funny stuff happening to you, your cars, your people, your base, whatever. If you upload them here and they find some that are funny or they think that are noteworthy, they'll actually show them on their feed and discuss why it's happening and what they can do to try to fix it in the future. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys, for this episode right here just tell me is this something you guys were interested in all i hope that you guys will actually go onto the website show your no votes show your love for the people that came up with some good ideas on there and if you guys have some good ideas man get on there and write them i put one on there myself earlier where i talked about i would love having bring back having them bring back the uh option from state of decay one where you could actually put booby traps on your outpost to increase the protected radius of it and I mean, there's so many good ideas on there. Get on there, vote for some, and tell me what other content you guys want me to bring you. Do you want me to bring you more updates like this, talking about what Undead, Le un uh, sorry, if I could speak, Undead Labs is doing to communicate with us and what they're doing to implement our ideas into the game and the fixes for the bugs and stuff like that. Do you want more just videos of like crappy stuff happening in my games, like the glitch you see going on here in the background while I was stuck behind Daybreak's map and never could get back again? Because I have tons of those. But let me know what's on your mind, guys. 